methods. So all these three stuff, three functions are like create, update and delete. These three operations we will perform now quickly. And once that is done, so our CRUD operation will be completed. OK, and then once the CRUD operation is done, so today like uh, guys, our session might extend uh, till 1130 or till 12. OK, so I'll give break if, if required in between. That will be fine. Yeah, so after uh, after reading the data by passing all the parameter, now let's see if if user want to delete any record. OK, if let's say if user want to delete any record, how you can delete in basically from UIFI application, which is the method that we have to trigger to delete a record. So first of all, within this table, I will add one. Uh, I'll, I'll add one more column in which we can pass a delete as a icon. OK, so I'll introduce one more column here. So I'll add a column type as action and now here I'll just add. Um, sorry, I'll add a button. OK, so for button, I'll just add icon. Uh, icon that I need is delete icon. OK, so in SAP icons, you can search for delete. And this is the icon for delete. I'll copy the delete icon and I'll paste it here. OK, now after that. I'll add a press event. On delete record. OK. And the type of this button must be in red. So if you want that. I'll just provide a type and there can be different type. So I'll say it as a reject. So the color of the button will change OK in red color. Yeah, can you see now delete icon here? Yes, so we have a delete here. So when we click on any uh, delete, we should directly not delete the record. At least we must provide a confirmation pop up, a confirmation dialogue in which user can think about whether he want to proceed with deletion or not. Right? Guys, so that is a best practice. We should never provide a delete and we should never delete a direct record. Always there must be a confirmation for that. OK, that is a required step. Always. One second, guys. OK. So now what we can do here <clears throat> now we have to design a delete pop up here, right? So we have to design a confirmation pop up. So to design a confirmation pop up based on this delete click. So there is a control called. Wait, wait. So there is a control called message box. OK, so inside the message box, if you see there is a confirm pop up here. See, so this type of pop-up we, we have to design. OK, so and then we, we can provide an option. We can provide a description and then it, it based on user like whether you want to proceed or not. OK, so to design this pop-up, definitely you can refer the source code if you want or otherwise. Uh, yeah, see, this is a confirmation pop-up for that. OK. So let's add a code here for the confirmation. So wait, I'll just add a. So where it where it is triggering that event also we need because uh, we want to get that line number also, right? 
because for deletion we need a key values like SR number and uh, what we need company code, sorry, PO number at the same time. So when we need these details, then only we can delete. OK, now here what we can add, we can add. First of all, yes, we can get the record, but wait, I'll design this confirmation pop up once. I'll add. Message box on the top. So I'll say message box dot. Confirm. And now inside a confirm. Let's go back to the API reference. OK, so this is the confirm that you can design. You can add a title. OK, and this this message would come inside that. OK, and. Uh, yeah, on close is the event and after that there is an action which has OK and cancel. So now we need just this few properties. I'll just copy this. And I'll paste it here. OK, so from here. A style class we don't need. We can remove the style class. OK, so action is like to to display two buttons in the message box for that. It is a it is a part of action that is OK and cancel. And then to make to highlight that OK button in in blue color. So for that there is an emphasize action. And on close is nothing but it is a function. Which will trigger if user is clicking on OK or cancel. And this on close will always receive a action. What type of action user has chosen, whether it is OK or cancel. And accordingly, you can uh, you can take the action. OK. So if action, OK, if if S. Action is triple equal to OK. So in that case, I'll call one function that is this dot on delete. record OK, this function I will call. And in this function we need a details like uh, some couple of details we need like line number, uh, the PO number and SR number for deletion because that are key fields for deletion. Right, so accordingly we need we need to pass a key fields. If else nothing will happen OK, based on cancel nothing will happen. OK, so I'll say here O. Oh, um, so we need two details. Uh, one is context. Get shows. Dot. Get binding context. And uh, there is no name. OK, so there is a name for model, so we have to. Provide model name. Dot get. Object. And we will pass this object information to this method. OK, and as already it is inside the function, so I'll do bind. This. Now now we have to. Add this function. And that function, what it will receive, it will receive a record which we have to delete. Okay, 
And for deletion, I think same thing we can do. We need a Odata model. Okay, and after that we need a uh, create. Okay, so we'll copy this for a while and I'll remove some couple of code from here. Success we don't need, so I will delete that. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the filters, URL parameters we don't need, but success we need. Okay, so busy dialogue also we required. So we will add this busy dialogue here. Now, I'll add deleting record. Please wait. And uh, that is a custom icon. And that busy dialogue will be closed. So once busy dialogue is closed, after that, again, I have to call one more service, which will again read the latest records. So for that, I'll copy the function that we created on the top on read data. OK, again, it will read the data. OK, now for delete guys, how to get the first of all, what should be the URL for the delete and what should be the method that we have to call for data model? So for Odata model for deleting any record, there is a method called remove. OK, so which method it is remove. Using remove method, it will trigger a delete as a HTTP request. Rest all parameters are almost same. OK, so we have to remove. We have to call remove method. Entity set name we have to provide, but apart from entity set name, we have to pass two key parameters. Because when we look at the PO header set, what are the key parameters for the PO header set? PO number. Yes. PO number and SR number. So this these are two key parameters. So we have to pass these details. OK, so I will put a breakpoint now. So uh, while deletion, see first of all, let's see whether pop up is opening or not. See, we got the pop up here. Are you sure you want to delete this record? So if I say yes, then only that on delete record will be called. OK. So if I say cancel, nothing will happen. OK, so I'll go to inspect now. I'll go to source. Let me scroll down. Yeah, now here I'll put a breakpoint here. OK, because we need a context, right? And you can see in no context, we have the object. Clicked object we got from that. And then from that, we, what we need, we just need SR number and we need EBLN number. That is what the details we need. OK, and this details we store it in O context and we, we pass that O context to this uh, o, o delete on delete specific record function. So in on record, we will have this details of the context. So when we go here. OK, when we say OK, now it will call this function and you can see this O record which will have that SR number and EBLN. OK, the entire object it has. Now from here, how I need to prepare the record? See if I paste here, this is what the data I need. And then it needs SR number, so I'll copy this SR number. You can pass here bracket like this. You can give plus. So I'll pass SR number equal to SR number as it is a number. So I think you can simply say on record dot SR number because already it is an object. OK, so I'm passing first SR number. Next step, what what it what it should be? Again, there should be. Um, OK, I must give comma here. See, we have to follow the same syntax. And what is that syntax? You can get it in metadata. OK, this is how we need to pass. OK, so next parameter is EBLN. EBLN. Now in this EBLN, you can simply give equal to sign 
and after that you can give plus okay but see this ebln value it is a it is a string value then it must be passed in single quotes so i'm passing one single quote give plus okay now here i will pass more record dot ebln that's it Okay, O record dot EBLN, O record dot SR number. Okay, so we have not added SR number in single code because it is a number, but for EBLN, we must pass a single code. And you can see that I have passed here single code in both the places. Okay, and now this is what the URL we have to define for deletion of record. That's it. Okay, so let's reload now. So I'll clear. Now let's say we want to delete this first record, which has like 12 company code is one and document type is NC for that. Okay, and category is A. So when we click on this delete, so it will come here, it will get the basic record and it will open the pop-up. And now I'll put a breakpoint directly here and I'll say OK. So when you say OK, see it will check for action guys in S action. I will receive OK. That's why it's triggering this function. OK, so uh, in, in on close function, it will always uh, there will be only one parameter for on close function that is S action. So this S action will receive the action in the string format that is OK or cancel. OK, only button name it will receive cancel or OK. So I'm receiving OK. So that's why this function will be called. OK, so it will get the record and now see how the you uh, the URL is getting created. You can copy this entirely. And you can paste here. See how I define the URL. You can see here slash PO header set followed by SR number equal to three EBLN equal to in single quotes. I'm passing the PO number. That's it. This is how my URL must create. OK. This is how my URL should look in case of create and update. OK, only for create and update we have to pass this URL, but for reading the data, I think we don't need to pass this URL in this way. OK, for reading and for creating the records. So now now it will directly go to the success. OK, yeah, so it directly went to the success and even in network call if you go. In payload, if you see which method it triggered, which HTTP method it triggered, delete. And then this is the URL for deletion. OK, that's it. So as it went to the success, it means the record is already deleted in the backend. And you, you see again, it will read the data and you can see that data is gone now. So can you see a category with A and document type as NB or NC? You can't see, right? Because that record is deleted now. OK. Now let's say if you want to delete one more this PO number which is ending with 12 again, you can click on this and I'm saying OK. So that record will be deleted. See, that's it. It is gone now. Can you see that record here? Guys, nice. 